before I head home tonight, just came over to Oakland for a bit. Just to admire the view, admire a bit of San Francisco behind me, the sunset. I kind of ditched the idea of going to the Golden Gate Bridge because you can see it's a bit cloudy and honestly it's it's not as special as this. This is this is truly encapsulating, truly, truly just remarkable this view. I don't think I can get enough of this. I generally don't. think of a reason why they upgraded me uh, maybe because I'm a Marco Polo member alternatively what I probably think it was is because I talked really bad comments about them in their review uh, that I submitted to them because I was really pissed off about how how poor quality the premium economy product was so I guess they got the message and we're flying business so today's vlog is gonna be a somewhat comprehensive, in-depth review of what you can expect to fly when you fly Cathay Pacific's business class. So yeah, let's check out the lounge. Um, the Cathay lounge here in uh, in San Francisco is probably similar to the one you will find in Hong Kong. Noodle bar, wash shower facilities. You can find a review of that in this link on this corner. I was able to change to a window seat, thankfully. Um, but then again, it's a night flight, so there's not many views to see. Uh, I just don't want to be sitting right next to someone else. Currently in the lounge, probably gonna eat some food, get some drinks in, and then have a nice shower just before I take off. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing this review. I've never flown Cafe Business before, so you and I will share the same first experience. I just left the lounge. Now, if you're asking, you know, if you're sitting there thinking, oh, how do I get upgraded? Well. There actually is no formula, there is no way that you can guarantee it unless you're using award points or miles or cash. It's all run by this big algorithm in the, in the system's computer, so at the end of the day you just got to depend on the luck that you have. Alright, welcome aboard, Thank have you, a great sir. trip. Thank you. And uh, here we go, let's give this a shot. Hello. Oh. Yes, thank you. Oh yeah, they're okay. Damn, this flight's full. So what you get is um, an amenities kit, a bottle of water, and some headphones. Um, and then a blanket, and then a pillow. And then a huge TV screen. Let us take a look at this entertainment system. I hope it's touch screen. But, ooh, animations. We have movies, music, books, you get the idea. Controller. No, I will not fuzz my seatbelt. Also control it with this little tablet thingamajig. First impressions, very nice. Very, very nice. Very private, lots of space. Ladies and gentlemen, chill. it is very a safety record. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as a captain, my name is uh, Jack Lam. With me, the flight deck senior first officer Calvin Young, first officer James Logan, and second officer Martin Lucid. I would like to welcome you on board this uh, Calypso Airbus Service CX uh, 851 to Hong Kong. We are ready up front, uh, just uh, loading last few pieces of baggage. Once on the way, you can expect a flight time of 13 hours and 53 minutes. I'm not expecting generous smooth flying condition. However, as always, a possibly gen forecast turbulence. So as you keep your seatbelt loose here, Fasten, you want a seatbelt signs turned off. I'll uh, speak to you in private send into Hong Kong with an updated ride right over time. So until then, let's sit back and enjoy your kind of flying. Thank you.
served. Um, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the sink. Sorry this is so close up. I don't want to speak too loudly because some people are sleeping. But yeah, let's give you a quick sink tour. So the first thing is your television and it pops straight out. Watch this. You get a, a blanket. I chuck my shoes down here. There's a little cubby hole in here. You can pop open. Um, I don't know what you would put in here, but I guess you can put a laptop, your chargers. Um, I have nothing in here, but my head hurts now. You have this like plain little table area, you can dump stuff. Then you also want to keep it clear enough that you, when you open this, to access your headphones, water bottle. And I also put my passport here. I guess you can put a phone here. Um, yeah, lots of little storage around here. Very, very helpful your main seat control. It adjusts the recline, the foot thingy. Um, there's this really strong reading light. You can adjust the brightness. Pretty cool. Um, your remote control is here. And that's pretty much the seat to it. Though. Welcome to Hong Kong. It has been a pleasure looking after you and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you for flying Cathay Pacific. I'm member to member of the Lions. with uh, Cathay Pacific. If I'm, if I'm honest, really, don't tell me as I'm grateful or anything, but I don't think Cathay Pacific is as good as Singapore Airlines. I've flown Singapore since I was one and a half. I've flown them for uh, like 19 years. I, I know them through and through. I know that their, air, their, their, their service is incredible. And I know Cathay has a better art product. I, their seat's nicer and everything like that. But the soft qualities, Cathay just doesn't get there enough. Singapore Airlines does beat them big time on their service and, and the quality of items, they, the amenity kit, everything they give is just slightly better. And I just don't think Cathay can, can ever be the greatest airline if, if your service just isn't there. So in the future, in all honesty, I think I'm going to go back to Singapore Airlines. I really think I am. So I've got about three hours before my flight back home. Um, fortunately, no more business class today. I'm going to go back to premium economy for my final flight. Um, thank you for joining me on the last 21 days-ish uh, when I was in the States. Um, fortunately, some of the vlogs couldn't come out as quickly as, they, as I wish they have, but um, thank you for following the journey along, and see you next holiday I go on.